Hello YouTube, this is a quick video on Magisk. So this is the manager on Android phones and if you've installed a custom ROM before you'll be familiar with Magisk. If not, I'll leave a link below and you can read out more about it. In this one, what I wanted to do is just give you a quick uh, video on the update. So as of now, so January 2021, the latest version as you can see is 20.4 on Magisk up at the top and the Magisk Manager is on latest uh, version 8. Now on this one it's got a different interface now. Now as you can see it's got a white or light themed interface and it was on a dark theme prior to this at least back until version 16 possibly earlier than that. So just to show you because when I initially looked at it I uh, wasn't sure exactly where everything was and it just seemed all over the place. So this is just going to go through a couple of things. So up here you've got the refresh button, you've got settings here. So if you want to go through customization of themes, the manager, you've also got now DNS over HTTPS, which if it was there before I didn't see it. So perhaps this is new. It'll automatically check for updates. Uh, if you want to hide Magisk in case of um, an app that doesn't allow you to use Magisk or have root access perhaps. And then you've got super user options down below as well. You can come back out of that. And then if you wanted to uninstall Magisk, you just click here or install here. Now, if you go to update from the previous version, the next screen you'll see is this. So you'll, you'll click install. And then when you install this one, it, you can download it directly, which is the recommended. And with the manager, it will install and then ask you to reboot the device. So there's a slight difference in terms of how these are put onto the phone. Now, the key thing here is these four options here. So as you can see, we're on the home page here. The next one is going to be super user options. So you'll see which apps you've allowed super user access to and you can just toggle those off here if you need to. You've got a log report here if you want to review or send those off to developers for any reason. And then the last one which is like the jigsaw puzzle piece here and this is what we need. So the modules is the key part. So if you want to install from storage and you've got that here or you want to move it from your PC over to the phone via a cable, you would click install from storage. And here you can see I've got installed one already, which I did through the online portal, which I'll just scroll down here is online. So you've got app systemizer here, which that means it's in gray. So it's installed and it's allowed. So if I wanted to switch that off, I could just toggle to the left and I'll move it back. If I want to remove it completely, here's the delete button here. And if I want more information, then it will give you it where it's available. Not everything does have that. Come out of that. Now here you can see access call recorder. That's been blurred out because that's basically one I had and then I clicked remove and that's how it would look like after. So it doesn't disappear completely. It will just show as removed or unhighlighted here. But you can reinstate that if you want to. That's the second app that I've got or module and that's installed. And here's the install. So when you first go into this, it may be blank. So just go over to the online section if you haven't clicked it already. And then you'll just click sorting order. And if you click that, then you should get the modules come up. I'll just give that a moment. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bar flashing here. And that's just going to load them up. There we go. So that's everything that you can Install as a module. You can see a popular ADB and Fastboot for Android is there, um, and you've got loads of useful ones. You can scroll down and have a look yourself. Now, if you don't want to scroll down through them all, there's the search button, and then you can just put them in here. So let's just put in ADB again. And there you go, you can just pop that in. So here's the download button here, the down arrow, and then more information if you want to. Hopefully that's been useful. I think it's just one of these things that it's new and it just takes a bit of getting used to. But I thought I'd just show you. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been useful.